Hi, in this video, we will discuss one of the branches of physics, which is mechanics. So mechanics, like what I have said, is a branch of physics. A branch of physics that is concerned with a uh, the state of a body subjected to the action of forces. So again, mechanics is a branch of physics that is concerned with the state of a body subjected to the action of forces. It simply deals with the uh, forces and the response of the body when the uh, forces has been applied. The uh, body that we considered here is either a uh, solid, solid body or fluid. That's why uh, this mechanics is uh, divided into two main categories, which is the what we call the solid mechanics and, and the fluid mechanics. Okay, so we have here the solid mechanics, which deals with the mechanics on solid bodies, and we have here fluid mechanics which deals with the uh, mechanics or the action of forces in fluid bodies okay so let's um, I mean in this video we will tackle more about on the uh, solid one okay so for solids For solid, solid bodies, the uh, the the response of the object can either be static response, dynamic, or in terms of deformation response. It only means that when the forces are applied to the solid bodies uh, there are uh, three responses that the body might uh, I mean that the body might respond either static either uh, or dynamic or deformation response okay so for for static and dynamic um, we have the uh, we have the what we call rigid bodies okay so this uh, solid mechanics here when under static or dynamics response it is the what we called uh, rigid bodies in in terms of static and dynamics response we treat the bodies as rigid meaning we do not consider deformation here as the word rigid so again for solid mechanics, we have another uh, category. We have a solid mechanics of rigid bodies. And the other one is the solid mechanics of uh, deformable bodies. Deformable bodies. Where in here, instead of not considering the deformation, we will now consider the deformation of the body when uh, you apply a certain force so again for solid mechanics we uh, categorize it furthermore into two we have the rigid bodies and the deformable bodies we're in in rigid bodies we will uh, uh, we will discuss regarding it uh, the statics and dynamics and for the deformable bodies we will discuss about the deformation okay 
So the uh, the response of the uh, body when in terms of solid mechanics once again we have three response responses which is either statics dynamics or in terms of deformation okay for example um, we say that there is a certain body here and i will represent it using a um, a square here or a box box here for example we have a uh, body the solid body here represented by this um, by this box and we say that the mechanics is the uh, the uh, the about forces and the reaction of the body when we apply that certain force so for example we apply a force here force so what will be the uh, response of the uh, this body when we apply force f here so it might might move initially from this point maybe will uh, move up to this point okay so what will be the response or what is the response of this body what is the response of this body when apply when we apply a force f so it is under the dynamic response since it move it move or it changes its direction okay so we have here dynamic response example of dynamic response okay. another example what if another box there is a uh, certain body again which is represented by this box and then there are forces acting upon it. Force A and force B. Where in the uh, force A is similar with magnitude with force B, but with opposite direction. So what will be the response of this body? Again, what will be the response of the body acting upon these two forces here? So maybe it uh, remain on its initial state or it will not move. Therefore, it is the what we call static response. Static response. Okay. Another example. What if we have another box here and then after we apply the certain force maybe afterwards the uh, uh, box looks like this So the uh, response of the object when we apply the certain force here is that we um, consider its deformation. That's why we have here the deformation. Deformation response. Okay. So here in engineering, um, we will uh, consider sometimes that our object is a uh, rigid rigid body so we we consider uh, we consider our uh, bodies as, as rigid for example when you are designing a uh, truss columns or beams and when you are uh, for example you're designing on the um, uh, uh, machineries and so on <coughs> well in uh, 
and there are also cases that uh, in analysis we need to consider the uh, the the deformation of the certain certain object when we apply the certain force for example uh, this all all uh, it is um I mean, it is necessary when we are um, designing what is the needed needed uh, size of the bar, for example, to resist that certain force. Uh, there, what do we need to do to set our? What we do we need to select? Uh, for four inches bar, three inches, one inch, and so on and so forth. So there are many cases here in our engineering that we might want to consider our body as deformable and also there are also uh, analysis here in engineering that we need to consider our body as rigid bodies so later on um, you will um, tackle those matters on your separate sub subjects uh, these two here is tackled on the your subject on your uh, second year subject which is the uh, what we call the engineering engineering mechanics engineering mechanics one and two which is engineering mechanic mechanics one you will be dealing about only the statics and engineering mechanics two it's all about dynamics and for uh, another subject here for the deformable bodies which is uh, what we call in engineering as the uh, strength of materials strength of materials so for now we will only uh, run through this for us to uh, familiarize in this um, matter okay so I think time is up it's already uh, almost 50 minutes so see you on our next video